Ah, you gotta love these shoplifters. Now hold on, let me explain. You see, some days can be extremely boring and not a whole lot to go on. Maybe the most exciting thing we might see is, let's say, a bird pooping on a car. Now that's entertaining. Well, not really. So, the random shoplifters can not only bring excitement, but sometimes, on rare occasions, they can bring entertainment. And man, I can tell you a ton of stories, but I'm just going to stick with a couple right here. On my very first day of working, it only took a few hours for me to see the very first shoplifter get taken down. And I mean full on tackled to the ground. Of course, this was all before these people started dying and then policies started changing. So one day the shoplifter was running in front of the store and our undercover dude was chasing him. Now the shoplifter had a bit of weight to him so he was a little bit slower and our undercover was kind of built like a wall. Hence why I made him like this. Our undercover basically slams into this guy and then pins him down to the ground. Now naturally customers including myself ended up going over there to see what was going on. So long story short this guy this stupid guy stole a freaking doorknob. A freaking doorknob. I mean who the hell steals a freaking doorknob. So yeah he got tackled he got injured and he went to jail for stealing a freaking doorknob. Another shoplifter ended up getting out the door with a bike. Now some of our managers and our undercover ran over to the guy and were able to stop him. So rather than drop the bike and run, which if he did, he could have gotten away pretty easily. Anyway, he proceeded to cry. He was rambling on about all kinds of junk about his uh, dad being the mayor of Taterville. Now Taterville is basically in our backyard. They have a bunch of uh, country-ish people, if you will. Anywho, this guy was pretty much let go and we got our bike back. And I always wondered if he was telling the truth about his father. Oh, I'll tell you about the not so good shoplifter. As in, I think both sides pretty much lost this war. Basically, I was walking past the secret hidden security door and then I smelled pretty much like raw sewage. Suddenly the door opened and two of our undercovers came out and they were coughing and their eyes were all watering and stuff. And then this guy just casually walks out. Now this guy crap his pants. I mean, I've seen people try to do some crazy stuff not to go to jail, but this guy, he was like a hero to all the shoplifters out there. He proudly walked out that room and outside with a huge smile on his face. I guess I should mention that the security room is super small and a simple fart would fill it up and you would start gagging. And uh, I don't mean that kind of gagging. Now, this brings me to my most favorite shoplifter ever. I'll call him Deli. Now you can tell he's kind of special to me because I actually gave him arms right away. Anyway, this guy was a hobo, but not just any hobo. He was the drunkest hobo that I know in town. And let me tell you the stories that I could tell about this guy, I could do an entire episode on, but I would have to make it rated R, so I think I'll hold back. Well, Deli was always hanging around and he was always stealing beer. Now we knew he was still in beer, but no one physically seen him do it. Hell, they didn't even know when he came into the store half the time. This dude was a drunk ninja. Now do you see why he's my favorite hobo? Eventually everyone gets caught and he was no exception. But here's the kicker. He was so drunk, he couldn't get the alcohol out the door. It ended up falling down to the ground and shattering everywhere right before he exited, which meant we couldn't charge him. So the undercover told him he had to leave the premises. Now we had just pulled a row in and that's when I saw him. And of course he saw us, so he came over to say hi to us. Now as he's staggering over to say hello to us, the cops roll up. And the cop walks up to him and tells him he's basically got to leave the premises. So he calmly looks across the road, throws his hands up in the air like he's framing a shot. And then he slowly moves his, his hands. Now this guy did some kind of Jedi mind trick because he started walking right after and he wasn't staggering or anything. He was going almost in a completely straight line. This guy is legend. Anyway, I'll leave you with a little bit of advice. Don't steal anything 
unless you want to get banned from a store and if it's a big retail store you're banned from all of those stores so take that under advisement now if you happen to steal under a hundred dollars 90 percent of the time you're not going to get charged but you will get a band so ask yourself is it worth getting a band over stealing